The Donington Park National Chicane is almost the mirror image of the Foggy S's. Using Google satellite images you can clearly see how similar the two are, and the way I ride them is virtually the same with a few exceptions. To help I've drawn up a racing line through the chicane with different colours showing what I'm doing and when. Red is braking, yellow is closed throttle only, orange is part throttle or picking the throttle up. The green is acceleration or throttle development, with the yellow arrows, points of interest or apexes. The first and most obvious thing which is different is the approach. Now down the left hand side of the circuit, as you approach the exhibition centre on your left, there's a couple of small advantages to be had too. First, the hump in the track just before the braking area, where the Dunlop Bridge used to be, is slightly lower so it's easy to control the wheelie. Secondly, if it's windy going down the back straight, you get slightly better wind protection because of the exhibition centre itself. The tipping is basically the same, including your speed and the rate of change of direction. But unlike when you go through the foggy S's where you can easily run the kerb, opening out the exit, however the national chicane, the left kerb isn't as friendly, so as a result it's slightly tighter as you exit. The next thing to watch for is as you start to sit the bike up coming onto the straight, there's a slight rise in the track which creates a wheelie point, well worth remembering. And the last thing to remember, the start finish straight now is between 50 and 80 yards longer, which can make a huge difference as you run into Redgate, it can be as much as one gear higher, so you need to recalibrate your braking reference, unless you want to end up in the gravel. After the wheelie point on the straight, throttle off on a really big squeeze of brakes. The exact point is dependent largely on what machine you're riding. Keep the bike over to the left hand side of the track and just before the end of the wire fence on the left start to ease the bike in towards the apex. Still braking hard but trailing off the brakes as the apex curb approaches. Keep the throttle closed until you've reached the apex and just after the apex pick the throttle up and begin a rapid change of direction, right over to left. As the bike's changing direction, continue to develop the throttle through the apex and out towards the drift out curb on the right. Aim for as far up the drift out curb as possible as your drift out point. Then bike dependent, watch for the wheel coming light as you pop up onto the start finish straight. And here's a couple of examples of me running through the chicane. on board for just five dollars a month to see my exclusive content but if you like what i do you can subscribe on higher tiers for greater rewards